This is Junior Roberts from realjuniorroberts.com. In this video, we'll be looking at integrated circuits. Okay, so integrated circuits, ICs, chips, or microchips as they are commonly called, are compact electronic components which consist of smaller, more discrete electronic components. And these discrete electronic components can either be resistors, capacitors, transistors, inductors, or diodes, right? So let's look at, uh, at some typical integrated circuits, right? So these are some integrated circuits that happen to have a line around, right? And uh, as you can see, right, they all have connecting pins for us to make electrical connections to, right? And they're all enclosed in a black semiconductor material, right? And uh, each is as its own label, right? Uh, which means that each integrated circuit is designed to carry out a particular function, right? So the first thing you'd want to do when you actually pick up a integrated circuit is to actually uh, check out the manufacturer's data sheet, which can be accessed online, right? So let's say for this, for example, uh, this integrated circuit here. So this is a SN, 7400, right? So let's go online now to see what the manufacturer's data sheet says. So we can do a Google search for the part number. But so that's uh, SN7400N. So we can uh, click the second link and it should open up the website. I have already downloaded the PDF so we can view it all locally on this machine. So this is the data sheet and it actually says that the device is a quadruple two input positive NAND gate, right? And this diagram here actually illustrates uh, the packaging of the component. So here we can see all uh, the input pins and the output pins and also the power pins. So we have our positive VCC and our ground pin. You know, a data sheet actually has a whole lot of information right uh, for designing purposes now this is a quick look of the schematic diagram which actually shows what components are used to make the uh, integrated circuit here right uh, so we can see on uh, there's a bunch of resistors transistors and also diodes okay so after looking at uh, the component online we actually get some really good information to actually proceed and uh, use the integrated circuit to make a circuit, right? So integrated circuits are used uh, for their ability to make circuits more compact, right? So most of our modern day electronic components, right? For example, our cell phones, our laptop, laptops, tablets, right? All make use of integrated circuits, right? To make the device more handheld and mobile friendly in terms of uh, you moving around with it, right? So here I have actually have a microprocessor, right, from a computer, right? Um, this is an, an Intel Celeron 2.4 gigahertz processor, right? And uh, it is an integrated circuit, right? And it actually has uh, a number uh, trillions or even bi well, billions or even trillions of transistors which actually make up this this processor here right I also have a LED display right controlled by uh, an IC here right and this is a network card right which came out of a a old uh, CPU right and there is the integrated circuit here there's another one here and this is the the main processor which actually controls all the input and the output from this card here right so integrated circuits are quite useful to modern day electronics right as they as i said earlier make electronics com electronic components more compact and are easy to carry around okay so if there was anything that anything that you wish to ask about this video feel free to drop it in the comments or send me over an email to junior at realjuniorroberts.com and also like, share and subscribe if you found this valuable.